Hello, and welcome to A New Approach to Learning. My name is Cynthia Stegall, and I'm one of the senior directors for the product enablement team here at Software AG. And I have the pleasure of spending the next 30 minutes with you sharing some exciting news that we have for learners like yourself here at Software AG. So let's get started. So I'm a former instructor, and as a former instructor, I always like to challenge my audiences or my students. So I'm gonna start with a challenge for you. So on the screen in front of you are three words. One, self-paced, and Bitcoin. So your challenge is to try and decipher what these three terms have in common with learning and with the presentation today. Now I'm gonna give you a few minutes for you to think about it and then I'll reveal the answers, okay? So go ahead. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So one, one in 10 people feel that they do not have enough technical skills on the platforms that are in their environments in order to do their day-to-day -day job. That may sound a bit strange to you, but when these same people were asked, why don't you have the skills? The most common answers were, I don't have the time, or we don't have the budget. So wouldn't it be great if there was a way in which you could eliminate those barriers so that you don't have to worry about having enough time in your day-to-day -day, your day-to-day -day schedule or having enough budget? Because let's face it, if you're working on a project, as soon as the project starts to run into some problems, you don't you're getting short on time, what's the first thing that gets cut? Training every time, right? Then you find yourself stumbling, looking online for a free video, something that you can find to help you figure out how to do the job that you've been given, right? Okay, so now let's move on to the second one, self-paced. I'm not gonna define self-paced training. I think everyone knows how self-paced training works, but here's something you may not know. So as a former instructor, I did instructor-led classes. And when I taught an instructor-led class, I knew that the average student would only retain about 10% of the knowledge that we shared in the classroom. No matter how great I was and how great the class was and how interesting the content was, people only retained about 10% on average in an instructor-led class. Now, what do you think the retention rates are for self-paced training? Dare to guess? Would you believe that the intention, the retention rates for self-paced training goes up significantly, anywhere from 25 to 60 percent? How fantastic is that? So not only is self-paced training more efficient because you can use it around your schedule, you don't have to schedule an instructor or get a classroom, it's actually more effective. So there's that. Now we're going to move on to Bitcoin. Does this one have you stopped? Yeah, I thought it might. Okay, so Bitcoin. Do you know what a digital badge is? All right, well, this one I am gonna define for you. So a digital badge is defined as an online validation of an achievement or skill set. Digital badging entails the use of blockchain technology. It's the same rapidly evolving technology in which Bitcoin is based. So this technology is used to enable the digital maintenance and storage of your achievement data in the form of a badge, which essentially then is a tamper-proof public digital ledger used to record and display information about your skills and your credentials. Pretty cool, huh? Did you learn something there? Great. Now, as a former instructor, I would always tell my classes, you might wanna write this down somewhere because there could be a quiz. So there you go. One, self-paced and Bitcoin. All right, so those three words 
should give you an idea or a sneak peek at what we're gonna cover in today's session. But before I start going into any detail, I want to introduce the members of my team. So, everyone, this is Software AG's product enablement team. Say hello, everyone. Hello. 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 You may actually recognize a few of the faces. Maybe they were some of your instructors in previous classes, or maybe you met some of us at some of the previous user events. But we're so excited to be able to be here with you today to share some of the things that we've been working on. Now, our team, Product Enablement, is made up of su subject matter expert course authors, digital producers, and learning portal administrators. While training is not new at Software AG, our team and our mission is new. We've only been around for a little, a little over a year. And as you can see in our mission statement, we are here for one purpose and one purpose only. Our job is to ensure your success. Everything that we do is focused around you, the learner, and making sure that you have what you need to be successful. In the keynote, you heard Dr. Sig talk about several transformation efforts. Well, our team has been on a journey this past year of transforming the way that we provide enablement to you, our learner, at Software AG. Using a phased approach, we have been transforming the way that you learn and gain access to knowledge. We're focused on removing those time barriers that we just talked about, as well as the cost barriers that may have challenged you in the past, as well as bringing delivery options to the table, including digital self-paced training that you can get access to training when you need it, where you need it, and how you need it. Also announced by Dr. Sig, I hope you caught this in the keynote at the very end, starting with the International User Group 2021 date, so effective June 8th, all of our self-paced training will be available for free. That's everything. So self-paced training to support you in the beginning as you're starting as a learner. Self-paced training to help you as you onboard at, in starting your first project. Self-paced training to help you as an advanced learner. All of our self-paced training is now available at no charge. No charge to customers, no charge to future customers, no charge to partners, no charge to independent contractors. So we're very, very excited about this. This is a big step forward and it's something that we wanna do to make sure that you don't have any challenges when you are out there learning our technology. So lastly, we're also rolling out a new digital badging program. Hence the, the hint around Bitcoin, right? So this digital badging program is also gonna allow you to get the recognition that you deserve for achieving certification and other important milestones. And it'll allow you to publicly display your skills and your achievements using that same technology as Bitcoin. So, Let's move on to the details. Over the next 20 minutes, we're gonna go into a lot of detail on these changes, but before we go there, let's talk about the driver for this change. What drove Software AG to change the way that it enables its learners? It's pretty simple, you did. There were four common questions that we receive from learners on a regular basis. The first was, how do I get started? Very common for new learners of our technology. The second, what courses or curriculum is applicable for me based upon where I am in my journey, based upon what I'm doing? The third, are there any courses that do not require the use of an instructor? And then the last one, which was the most common, are there any courses available for free? So these four questions drove our new approach to enablement using your feedback, using your questions, and helping us to understand where we needed to take enablement. The picture that you have in front of you is referred to as the learner's journey. So taking a common journey map, 
we took our curriculum and the way that we enable and we divided it into four journey stages. The first journey stage is awareness, followed by evaluation, followed by onboarding, and then last but certainly not least is continuous learning. These four journey stages are common with any learner and will help you to understand and identify which content you need when. It'll also help you in terms of how to get started. So let's talk a little bit about these four stages so that you can have a better understanding of what content is available in each stage. First, we'll start with awareness. If you are someone who is looking to simply become aware of our products, perhaps you're a manager leading a team, or you are a business owner, someone who doesn't necessarily need to know how to do something in the product, but you need to have an awareness of what technology that Software AG offers and the business problems that it looks to solve. The training that you will need will be found here in awareness. These courses are typically shorter in duration and do not require any technical expertise. Now, some of our more technical learners may say, this is marketing information. And I can understand where you're coming from on that. However, this information is extremely important, especially to someone who does need to have a familiarity with the product itself, but not necessarily have to do hands-on work. But for those of you who are more interested in seeing what's under the hood and actually touching the technology, you'll find that where you're going to want to get started is in the evaluation stage. So evaluation is for someone who may be tasked with better understanding software AG technology from a feature functionality standpoint. So if you're one of those learners who has been assigned to go and do some discovery work, perhaps you're doing a free trial or maybe you're involved in a POC, here's the training that you're going to need in order to support that effort. So in this area, you'll find that we have a series of courses called BASIC. And within those BASIC courses, they are designed like any other course. So they're all self-paced. They start with pre-recorded presentations from our instructors. There's also pre-recorded product demonstration. And then there's a set of exercises. For our cloud-based courses, you also have access to a cloud instance where you can perform these exercises and a recording of all the solutions. The instructor walks through the exercises and solutions for you. For our on-prem customers, we actually have access to virtual machines that if you'd like to purchase at a very minimal fee so that you can do your exercises without having to install any software or, or go through any trouble to try to set up an environment, we try to make it very simple for you. So evaluation, again, is an opportunity for you to evaluate the product, but evaluate it being enabled to understand how to actually use it so that you are able to make a good determination for yourself and for your organization. Now you will notice in this picture that there is a small little icon there of a badge. What could that mean? Well, that means that included in the basic course is a quiz. Um, if you take the quiz after you finish the course and you make a hundred, which shouldn't be too difficult for you, then you are eligible to receive your first digital badge. And you can take those badges and put them on your LinkedIn profile or any other social uh, media platform within your email signature. It's an, it's an opportunity for you to be able to kind of build your own personal brand and get recognized for those efforts that you've made. So there's your first opportunity of, of, of uh, earning a digital badge. Now, after you get finished with evaluation, assuming that you have, you're moving forward with your first project, you're gonna need some more training. So that's when we start, start the onboarding stage. Now onboarding is, again, when you are preparing for your first project or you're preparing for certification. And we'll talk a little more about that. In, in taking the onboarding training, there's a series of courses there called Essentials. So Essentials is comprised of three components. It's a repeat of the basic course 
in the event someone is just starting their journey now and they didn't go through the evaluation phase. So we put it there. If you've already taken it, you don't have to repeat it. It'll show up in your learning profile within the learning portal. The next component is core. Core is just like it sounds. These are the core knowledge bits that you need in order to start your project. Now there may be some other content, and that's the third component, called electives that you may or may not need for your first project. These are all optional. So based upon your implementation and, and what you're trying to do within your first project, you'll determine which of those elective modules are necessary for you to take now. And if they're not necessary for now, perhaps you wanna take a look at them at a later time for your second project, your third, or even later down the line but those will be available to you in the continuous learning uh, stage. Now, included in onboarding is professional level certification. So these certification exams are proctored exams, and we'll talk about some of the things that are happening around bringing ease of use with, with taking these certifications as you move forward. But here's a second opportunity for you to earn a digital badge. So the first one was with the basic course, and that is the associate level certification in digital batch. And then the second is for the certification, the professional level certification. Now we're gonna move into the last phase, but this phase is kind of special, meaning that it may be the last phase, but it's one that never ends. Continuous learning is for our more advanced users or anyone who has finished their first project. Here within continuous learning, you'll find all of your Delta courses. You'll also find those electives that we talked about that might come in handy and useful in, in the future. Now we're building out this section, but this is also where you'll find um, best practices, best tips. Um, there'll be training that will be developed by our support team, by our professional services organization, by our customer success team, in addition to um, content that might be built by our partners and even members of our community like yourselves. So this is an area that we will be building out starting in July, but we're really excited and we think that this will be very, very helpful for those more advanced level users. So now that we've answered those first two questions, how do I get started? And how do I determine which curriculum or which courses are applicable for me based upon where I am in my journey? Let's now talk about how you access or how can you find content that does not require you to have the use of an instructor. So how do you find all this great free training that we've been talking about? Well, I'm glad you asked. Rather than tell you how to find all this great new free training, why don't I just show you? So I'm here at my favorite browser and I'm going to type in knowledge.sufferag.com. This is going to take me to the learning portal. So if you're not familiar with the learning portal, the learning portal is where you find all things learning. If you're familiar with the learning portal, then it may look a little different to you. So yeah, we're definitely making some changes here. So the first thing that comes that comes to me is some information about how cookies are used on this site. So I'm going to agree and continue. And I'm going to take you on just a little tour so you know what's here and how to find things, okay? So if I scroll down the learning portal, the first thing that I see over to the left-hand side is the login. Um, it does require an account in order for you to access the actual courses themselves. So much of what we're going to do here in the beginning is I'm going to show you what it looks like if you don't log in or if you don't have an account. So you can go and check out courses. But if you actually want to take the course, then you do have to create an account and you do have to be logged in. All right. So I'm not going to log in. But if I were a partner and I already have an account as a partner through Empower, I could actually click here to log in and that will allow me to use my same credentials so I don't have to create anything differently. Um, this is how I would create an account. And I'm going to show you how simple that is as we go through this demonstration or I could reset my password. Here down at the bottom of the left-hand side of the screen is a list of all upcoming training events. Now these are instructor-led events. 
So much of what we've talked about today is self-paced, which again is all free. But if you have a learning preference where you prefer to have a live instructor, or perhaps you just want to have somebody that you can ask questions to and get your answers directly right there on the spot, then instructor-led training is still available. It is a fee-based service offered through our professional services organization. They offer, as you see here on the schedule, public classes, which is a shared classroom. You don't have to travel or go anywhere. That's all delivered through our virtual classroom technology. They also offer private classes. A private class is a class that is, just as it sounds, private to one organization. So you'd have an instructor either come on site to deliver or once again, you could use our virtual classroom technology. And then professional services also offers customized training. So if you have a very specific use case, if you have sp specific requirements, or maybe you're looking at someone to build out end user training um, on your behalf based on your application, then professional services could help you with any of those um, needs. The only thing you need to do is just send an email to us at learning.portal at softwareag.com. Give us a little information on what you're looking for, and then someone will be back in touch with you with details, pricing, and perhaps even set up a follow-up call. But here on the left, these are the public classes that are coming up in the next um, couple of weeks or so. So if I click on one of these, I will see the full course description. So a course description in the learning portal is going to tell you what the learning objectives are, so what you can expect to gain. It'll give you information on um, uh, the intended audience, so who is, is, is geared toward this particular course. It'll also give you any information on specific uh, skill prerequisites that you need to have prior to attending the course. Uh, the delivery method, as well as the duration of the course. Now this again is a public course, so as you can see down here at the bottom, it also shows when this course is being held in each of the regions. And over here to the far hand right, you can actually also see the price associated with that particular session. So you can sign up here, but these are our public classes. Now, is there any difference between a public class and a self-paced class? No, there really isn't. The content is exactly the same. The only difference is with the instructor-led class, you have a live instructor there with you, and they can answer your questions right on the spot. Okay? So whichever option works better for you is um, available. Now, here in the main body of the learning portal, Right now, you're seeing all of our basic courses that are showcased here. But this is the area in which we will provide new information to you. So if there's new courses or new things happening with the learner's journey or anything that might be of interest to you as a learner, we're going to be putting this here. So you'll want to make sure that you check the learning portal on a regular basis so that you can keep up to date with anything that might be important or of news to you. Um, here again, we have the basic courses. So just if I select more info, just to show you how this works, here again is the course description. In this particular case, and you'll find this to be the case with all of our self-paced courses, then you'll find that there is also a video version of the course description. And again, remember, I'm not logged in, so it assumes that I don't have an account. So I'm able to see all of this, including this video, without an account or without being logged in. If I wanted to take the course, that's when I am required to be logged in. So as you can see, all of our basic courses, they're self-paced. That means they're free of charge. So you would just simply click here, and that would take you straight to the course, assuming you have a, an account and you're logged in. So I'm going to go back to the home page. And let's just make sure we've covered everything here. I think we have. There is a contact button here at the bottom if you want to reach us. But again, you can reach us directly through learning.portal at softwareag.com. So at the very top menu, let's go through these things. Um, and I'm sure you're still wondering, well, all that's great, Cynthia, but you still haven't showed me how do I get to the free content. So that's coming up next. So here we have catalog. So if I select catalog, 
My only option is Software AG product training. And this is going to take me to all of the courses that we offer here at Software AG. And just to scroll through these, you can see there's quite a few. And the, this is the only number of courses that would load onto one page. So you could continue loading more as you, as you look through. Certainly that's one way to do it, but we all know that's not the most effective or efficient way. So is there an easier way, Cynthia, for us to get to all this free training that you've been talking about? Absolutely. That's where the learner's journey comes in, and that's where these filters over on the left-hand side come in. You could certainly also um, do a search uh, for a particular course if you knew the name of it or a particular product, but it's easier to use these filters. So with the filters, I have options of filtering out the courses by learning stage, referring back to the learner's journey, as well as platform. There are some subscriptions that we'll talk a little bit about, and I could also filter by delivery type. So if I were interested in just looking at the instructor-led courses that are available, or only the self-paced, because I'm only interested in the free ones, I can filter by that. And then I can also say, well, Cynthia, I, I like the fact that I'm looking at the self-paced courses, but I'm only interested in ARIS. So I can also use that and further filter my view. All right. So likewise, if I were interested in a particular learning stage and I'm looking at self-paced training, I am onboarding. And let's say that I'm looking at integration and API. So here are three essential courses that I would have at no charge available to me. There's an API management essentials, a web methods integration essentials, and a web methods.io integration essentials. So let's say that I found the course that I want. What does it look like? So click on a particular course. And the first thing I have is a very short description of the course. I can select view details. And in doing so, once again, I have a full course description just as we showed early on. Okay, down here at the bottom, there are instructor-led public classes of that particular course available if I prefer so. Or I can scroll all the way down and here's where I would sign up if I'm looking for the self-paced version. So let's do that and see how that works. So here, again, because I am not logged in, it assumes I do not have an account, it's not going to let me see the course. So I would need to create an account or log in. So let's create an account so you can see how simple it is. So I do have to make one decision here. I have to choose if I'm a partner or if I'm a customer. And in doing so, that will set up your account. So what's the difference between the two? If I'm a partner, that means that I have a valid power up partner agreement in place. And if I select that, then it's gonna go through a validation process. So assuming that I get validated at the end of that process, then it's gonna take me to a different view of the courses, meaning that I actually have more content available to me as a partner at Software AG. If you, are, if you do not have a valid uh, partner power-up agreement, or if you are a customer, or you're not a customer, but you're interested in maybe finding out more about our technology, maybe you're an independent contractor, anyone who does not have a valid power-up partner agreement would select, I am a customer. So we keep it pretty simple here. So if I select, I am a customer, then you will see this is how I create my account, and it's very basic contact information. Your name, your company name, your address, your email address. If I agree to the privacy schedule, or privacy statement, and there is a link here to it, if I want to review that, I would, I would uh, select that box, and then I'm going to create my account. Once you select create my account, then it will automatically take you back to the course. So meaning that once you create an account, you're in. You don't have to wait. There's no review process, nothing of that sort. You will receive an email from us based on the email address that you provided in your account setup, letting you know that you now have an account uh, with the learning portal uh, and it'll give you an opportunity to change your password. Okay, so I am going to go back
just by hitting my back button here. It's asking me if I want to leave this page, and I'm okay with that. So back at the course catalog, just to show you a few more little tricks here. So you could also search by Delta Training. And Delta Training for us is if you are updating to a new version, or maybe you just, you're curious as to what has transpired from one version to the next. So all of our Delta Training can be filtered by selecting Delta Training Subscription. And then if I want to see the Delta Training that's available for Cumulosity IoT as an example, it would show me all the Delta Training. Now our Delta Training is, does not go through the entire product. What it does is it just covers features that have changed from one version to the next. So very short, video-based, self-paced, everything you would need. It does assume that you have prior knowledge or experience with the previous version. So it's only gonna cover what has changed. Perhaps I also wanted to look at all the digital basic training. So if I'm not a customer or maybe I'm a partner and I wanna just understand a little bit about the various technologies that Software AG has, and I want to get some hands-on experience with it, but I'm not really interested in taking the onboarding training, which is the essentials course, then I could just filter by digital basic training and that would pull up all the basic courses. Likewise, I could then filter that even further, let's say by selecting a product. And here I have basic courses associated with Autobase and Natural. So you've got several different ways. It's really up to you in terms of what you're looking for. You can uh, filter by subscription, by platform, by learning stage um, uh, in conjunction with the learner's journey or by delivery type. And once again, you can also just use the search uh, bar up here as well if you know the category or you know the name of the course or the product that you're looking for. All right, so. I'm going to go next over to certification. So this is where all of our certification exams are contained. So keep in mind that we have a new certification strategy and within the new strategy we've been talking about in this session, there is a certification associated with all of our basic courses and that gets you, if you pass that quiz, the quiz is contained within the course. So you don't see it here, but if you complete the course and you pass the quiz with 100, then you're eligible for a digital badge. Likewise, what you would find here are all the professional level certifications. So some of these are following the new approach. So if you see professional, that is the new approach that's following the new certification strategy. But we also have maintained all of our previous certifications that were in place as well. So you see quite a few here. So we'll be moving these and migrating these to our new strategy, but we didn't want these to go away, so they're here as well. The only ones, though, that are eligible for a badge are the associate level uh, certifications contained in your basic courses or, or the ones here that say professional. We also have another view of the public schedule here. So if you want to search for a particular region or you're searching for a particular platform, here you'll find the ability to search. All of our schedules are usually put into the system a year in advance. And then we um, monitor those as we're moving through the year to see if we need to add more of a particular course to the public schedule. Or if there's not much demand, we may actually remove some as well. All right. And then here's just more information on how to contact us. So with this, um, that will conclude the demonstration of the learning portal. As you've seen, uh, there are now ways in which to access all of those um, courses without the need for an instructor. And again, effective June 8th, I'm so excited about this announcement that you have access to all self-paced training at no charge. So that takes care of those four common questions that we always heard. How do I get started? Which courses are applicable to me? Are there any courses that do not require an instructor? And are there any courses available for free?
So now you have the answers to all four of those, and hopefully that's going to make those challenges and those barriers that we talked about just disappear for you. Now, we've been very busy, as I mentioned, but just as with the learner's journey, our work is continuous as well. So are you interested in knowing what's next? Yeah, there's more. So here in front of you, you see a roadmap of, our, of what we're doing from an enablement standpoint. Just to quickly recap what we've done so far. So in phase one, we introduced the learner's journey. Uh, and we provided you with an understanding of how content is available to you, how it's structured. We also started building out self-paced training so that we had more self-paced training to make available to you. And again, that's our new standard. So everything is built self-paced and then that can be delivered by an instructor if uh, instructor-led is your pre preferred method. Uh, we also then started to build out our evaluation and our onboarding phase, introducing basic training and essentials. Then we moved over to phase two, and this is the phase that we've just completed. So here in phase two, we have just rolled out our two new levels of certification, that being associate and professional level certification. And we've introduced a new digital badging program where you can get the recognition that you deserve for completing these important milestones and keeping your skills up to date. So you ready for phase three? Okay, so phase three will begin in July. We're pretty excited about it. And here in phase three, we're gonna start to build out that continuous learning that I told you about. So this is where we're, we've been focusing on folks who are brand new to our technology and who are onboarding and starting their first project. But we have not forgotten about our advanced learners. Some of you have been out there using our technology for many, many years, and we want to make sure that you are getting the more deeper knowledge that you need in order to be successful. So continuous learning is where you're gonna get fed. This is where you will find best practices, more deeper um, information. In fact, there's even questions about maybe having a mastery level certification with some of the content that will be here. We envision this section of our learner's journey being a place where we're not the only contributors. So we'll have contributors from across the software AG ecosystem, including our professional services organization, our support team, customer success, uh, even our partners and some of your peers within the community. So we'll be providing more information on this as time moves on, but this is gonna be a very important launch as we get ready to roll out more in the continuous learning area. Now there are there is content there today. So again, if you're looking for Delta training for 10.7, you could find that there as well as elective modules um, that are available with the Essentials courses. So all that's available for you today, but look for more things there. In phase three, we're also going to be making updates to the learning portal. So you'll start to see over time changes with the look and feel of the learning portal. We also wanna make sure that it's a bit more intuitive and that it's easier to navigate and find content there. So as we start to make these changes, look for announce announcements around that as well. And then last, but certainly not least with phase three, we will be launching an online proctoring um, platform. So this online proctoring capability will make it much easier for you to go for professional certification. In the past, you had to come into a software AG office to get certified, and we understand that that's a barrier. So we wanna make sure that we remove all those barriers and make it much easier for you to earn those badges, right? Exactly. So those are the things that you can look for um, starting in July. So we'll begin that work in July. So as you can see, you and your feedback has been driving this transformation effort and will continue to do so. So before I leave you, I have a few call to actions that I'd like to bring to your attention. Again, being the instructor, I want to make sure that you have some homework to go and do when you leave. So the first one is, I have provided a list here of resource sites for you. Training is what we've talked about today, but certainly here at the conference, you've learned that you've got access to a lot of things. So I thought it might be helpful for you to have one page where all of your learning resources, everything that's helpful for you as you're on your journey, 
is all located in one place to be kind of a cheat sheet for you. So here's all links to all of those things, including um, our documentation site, including open source uh, where you find um, sample code and tools. Uh, there's even listed here our Software AG YouTube channel where you can find short tutorials um, and little short videos on how to do things. Um, you'll find that our documentation even within the product actually has some of those videos that are very, very helpful. Um, you'll be able to join our tech community from a link here, and we'd love to have you join us if you're not already a member. But here's a whole list of things, including um, our email address if you have any questions um, or you need any additional support from an enablement standpoint. So everything you need is right here on this one list. I ask as a call to action for you to take these things and bookmark them so that way you have them handy and at your fingertips as you need them. All right, so call to action number two. Don't forget about your badges. You'll forget about it. So make sure you make a note to yourself to go ahead and start working on those basic courses, take the quizzes so that you can earn associate level certification. Those are really simple. You can knock those out pretty quickly and then you can have those badges start adding them to your collection, all right? And then last, this is more of an ask from me. So as I mentioned, everything that we've done here in terms of our new approach to learning has really been based upon feedback from you. We don't want that to stop. We wanna make sure that we keep our finger on the pulse of what's important to you. And the only way to do that is to involve you in this process. So we're going to be forming what we're calling a learning forum. Now this learning forum will be a small group of people who will give us feedback on where we go next and what we do. You will help us continue to define our strategy and how we continue to change and evolve to support you. So what does it involve? How much commitment is required? We need one hour a month from you. And within that one hour, there would be a predefined agenda that we would send out in advance. And we would ask that you take the, item on, the items on the agenda, talk about them with your peers and with your associates, think about it, come to the meeting with, with what your thoughts are on these things. So once a month, we'll meet, we'll discuss those agenda items. And that's it. So what's in it for you? What can you get in return? Well, aside from being a part of helping us to decide, which we think is really important and, and we're pretty excited about that, we also want to do something to reward you for being a part of this forum. So you will have access, early access rather, to courses, to new courses, and to certifications before they're made publicly available. So if you see yourself as a change maker, an influencer, uh, or people tell you you're highly opinionated, you're our kind of person. You're the person that we want on the forum. So all you need to do is just send us a quick email with your information, um, which of our technology you've been using, how long you've been using it, and a couple sentences as to why you think you would make a good member um, for our learning forum. The seats are limited. We don't wanna have a large group. We wanna keep it manageable so that everybody gets a chance to contribute and to participate. So send us your information. We'd like to have all of these by July 1st, and then we will be announcing on July 16th the members of our learning forum. That announcement will be in the tech community and we'll also have it on the learning portal. So this concludes our session today. I thank you for joining us here at IUG 2021. I hope you have found this time to be valuable. You've learned something. Um, you also have some trivia now that maybe you can use um, at a party or with your friends or on a Zoom call. Uh, we look forward to you, to speaking with you again and having you in a class uh, as well as we hope to see you at Connection 2021. Until then, thank you so much and have a great conference. Bye-bye.